Hi and uh, welcome, my name is Rory. Uh, this is my first vlog, so hopefully it goes well. Um, this weekend is my first race in four years. I think the last time I raced was maybe in Maui um, at the Xterra World Champs. And uh, that feels like a different lifetime and pretty much is. Um, so to give you a bit of backstory about me, um, I used to race professionally as an Xterra triathlete and I raced cross triathlon as well. Um, I was European under 23 champion in 2012. Um, I'm by no means fit or anywhere near pro level anymore and I don't really even want to race triathlon. Um, just because I don't really want to compare myself to how I was four or five years ago. Um, and that is much, much slower than it, than it, than it was back then. Um, I just like chasing numbers now. So the logical choice was time trialing. And uh, I was fortunate enough at the start of the year to spend a bit of time with my pal Alan Murchison, who's a very good rider himself and very good chef. If you've been around bikes or cooking, I suppose you'll know who he is. And uh, he encouraged me to, to, to get involved. So that's kind of the goal. But back when I raced, power meters weren't really, they weren't really common and I certainly couldn't afford to buy one. Um, and in reality, I think the number of coaches that even knew what to do with the data back then was pretty much, pretty much no one. Um, obviously, some of the elite guys would have, but for the vast majority, I think it was, it was almost redundant having one. Um, but now, power meters are easy to come by. They're pretty cheap, and I've got one, and I'm fascinated by, by the numbers, and I like making the numbers bigger, and that's my goal. I don't really want to com compare myself to anyone. Um, I'm not too worried about winning and losing. Although I'd be lying if I said winning doesn't feel good because it does. And uh, maybe one day, but right now I'm just out there to try and better myself. So before I go to do this race up in Edinburgh, um, there's a bit of a tradition. I've got to go see the best mechanic and support crew in the world, also known as my dad. Uh, he's never, never missed a race and I doubt he's going to miss this one either. Um, I bought myself a disc wheel cover. I'm not the best mechanic, so I'm gonna go see if he can uh, he can help me fit it. And I've also been running without a rear brake because I couldn't get it to not rub. And having it rub was worse than not having it at all. So <laughs> that needs to be fixed as well because if you got you got got to stop at some point. Here, ready to do a course race, recce, and uh, bike's fixed. It's, I mean, it looks perfect on the stand, but uh, I took the battery out to charge, and uh, guess what? I forgot it. <laughs> so I'll be riding in a 5611 for this recce, but it is what it is. Got to get it done. All right, halfway around. Already feeling a bit tired. Am I a dumbass? Yes, I forgot the, the battery for my derailleur. Is it my first race in four years? Yes. Was I going to make a ton of mistakes? Yeah, probably. But at least it happened the day before and not during the race. So, be prepared. Lesson one. Lesson two. Make sure you know where you're going before you try and wreck the course. There's seven roundabouts to negotiate here. I know I am, I'm, a, I'm a mountain biker, but... Man. Seems, uh... Seems like I've forgotten how to turn corners riding Zwift indoors all day. Well... Whoa, almost fell. Ooh. Bear for this time.
record. This one. It's already recording. You're recording now. <laughs> Smile. Say hello. <laughs> I don't need to say hello. I've been in the video already. Okay, two days post race. I always find it's a little bit better to wait a while before I do any kind of evaluation about how things went because it gives you a bit of time to get perspective and really have a good think about three questions. What went well? What didn't go well? And what are you going to do better next time? And these are the same three questions I ask almost every athlete I coach. In some cases, almost every single session, if they've got a lot to work on. Um, so for me, what went well? Fortunately, quite a lot went well. Um, but I guess a lot didn't go well either, but I'm gonna pick one thing for each question. And simply for me, what went well was that I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, it was exciting to put a number back on. And honestly, that's enough. I don't need to look too, too into too much depth. First race, things were gonna go a little bit wrong, but that, that, that's it. Um, what didn't go so well? If you've just watched any of the footage, you'll notice when I crossed the line, my head was sticking up, um, a bit like an ostrich, which in time trialing is not great because it's all about aerodynamics. And the more air you are, the faster you go. So it looks like my form kind of, kind of disappeared probably when I got tired. Um, but that's normal and that's something to work on and what am I going to do better next time? Well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to work on my form, but I'm also going to remember to switch my Garmin to a page which has um, watts on it because I ended up riding the race blind <laughs> and just looking at speed and distance, which, um, oh, well, they have their own merits, but it, it's quite nice to see, quite nice to see watts. Um, and that's it. That's first vlog done. Hopefully it went well, um, and I'm sure the next one will be better. See ya!